is an underlying condition? Today I'm going to discuss three underlying conditions that exacerbates COVID-19, the novel coronavirus, and why this community should prevent acquiring the coronavirus at all measures. Why is a diabetic more susceptible or will have a harder time eliminating this virus versus someone that does not have diabetes? Today, we're gonna discuss that. Welcome to another episode of Getting Healthy with Dr. T. So throughout this COVID-19 pandemic, we've been hearing the phrase underlying condition. Let's get a better understanding of what an underlying condition is. Underlying conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, and lung disease can affect the immune system. This reduces the body's ability to fight off infections. And not just COVID-19 infection, any type of infection, whether it's bacteria, fungi, or any other virus. So an underlying condition is a medical problem that is a long-term, chronic, and requires long-term treatment. So to better understand how underlying conditions affect COVID-19, you wanna check out my video, I'll link it here, that actually explains what happens in the body when COVID-19 enters your system. COVID-19 results in accumulation of inflammation throughout the body. Most chronic illnesses and diseases are also the result of inflammation. Take for instance, if you sprain your ankle. The first thing you'll notice is that your ankle will become inflamed. And this is because your body is sending over helper cells to help fight off the injury to help minimize the injury. So the inflammation is there to protect your ankle from further injury. As far as COVID-19 goes, the inflammation comes from your body trying to fight off the infection as well as the infection itself causes major inflammation. By incorporating that inflammation with an already diseased body being diabetes, heart disease, or lung disease, the abundance of inflammation within your system weighs down on your immune system and your immune system is not able to function. It's not able to fight off and send enough helper cells, enough T cells to fight off infection. It's already working on your pre-existing conditions and it's simply drained and it just can't keep up. So let's discuss some of the underlying conditions that exacerbates COVID-19. Let's start off with heart disease. People with heart disease tend to have other conditions like high blood pressure, elevated cholesterol, and these things weaken the defense system of the body, providing less help to fight off viruses bacteria, or any type of infection. One of the main conditions in COVID-19 is that it prohibits oxygen exchange. It prohibits the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. It decreases our ability to inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. And we all know that our heart needs oxygen to function. This alone causes tremendous havoc on the heart. The lack of oxygen circling in the body because COVID-19 has blocked the airways of the alveoli. Once again, I stress that you watch my video on what actually happens when you're infected with COVID-19 so you can actually understand how it affects underlying conditions. It decreases oxygen within our blood, within our body, and our heart obviously needs oxygen to pump and to function. So this already puts a heart patient at higher risk for more heart issues. The lack of oxygen and the inflammation that's damaging the lining of the vessels is a double whammy. It's like adding fuel to the fire. Now let's discuss diabetes. What makes the coronavirus such a dangerous disease for a diabetic? So briefly to explain what a diabetic is. A diabetic is a person that has high amounts of glucose circling around within their blood because they are not able to break down glucose on their own. Either their pancreas is not putting out enough insulin to break down glucose or the glucose is not being metabolized properly. It's not being broken down by their body to be used as energy. And that's pretty much what glucose or sugar is within our body. Our body sees glucose and sugar as energy. And let's take note that Diabetes is an inflammatory disease all on its own. So adding COVID-19, which adds to the already inflamed condition, 
just makes it 10 times worse. And not to mention bacteria, viruses, or most infections grow in high amounts of sugar. High amounts of glucose is a perfect environment to grow any type of infection. And this is why as a teenager, your doctor would tell you to stop eating so much sugar because the high amount of sugar allows bacteria to grow within your skin causing pimples. Just a little side note. So obviously diabetics have high amounts of sugar circling around within their blood, making it a perfect environment for COVID-19 to multiply and to grow, then travel throughout the body. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but the body sees infections as stress. Stress causes glucose to go up. So in a diabetic, they already have high amounts of glucose. The body sees an infection which causes glucose to go up. And it's just an excellent environment for COVID-19 to replicate. So basically COVID-19 increases glucose levels because it is a stress to the body and the body responds to infections by increasing glucose levels. Glucose provides the body with energy and the body needs energy to fight off the infection. So your body naturally is going to increase the amount of glucose sugar within your body to provide you with the energy to fight off the infection but you're not able to break down this glucose because you're a diabetic. You're not producing the insulin to break down the glucose. So now you have added glucose from your body supplying you with more and you not being able to break down the already high concentrations of glucose being that you're a diabetic. Double whammy. Did you understand that? Or are you not listening? I ain't see you with your headphones on, girl. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Now let's move on to respiratory conditions. And this has to be obvious. If your respiratory system is already weakened by asthma, COPD, or any type of respiratory condition, you are in danger. People with respiratory conditions need to take serious precautions to prevent coronavirus. The coronavirus attacks the respiratory tract preventing the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. It causes inflammation on the alveoli, which is responsible for the transport of oxygen to the blood. And if your respiratory system is already depressed, adding coronavirus to it can be lethal. So to all of you with the pre-existing condition, I beg of you to listen to the recommendations from the CDC practice social distancing, continue to wash your hands. Washing your hands can really prevent you from becoming infected with the coronavirus. Continue to practice social distancing, stand away from large crowds to prevent becoming infected with this virus that could be lethal to you. And stay rested, well hydrated. Try to eat a balanced diet, plentiful of fruits and vegetables. Be sure to get ample amount of exercise and vitamin D. It has been shown that vitamin D helps to boost your immune system. So if you have a family or a friend that has an underlying condition and they're not taking this seriously, be sure to share this video with them. Enlighten them on why they need to take serious measures on protecting themselves from contracting the coronavirus. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. You're gonna be so good when you're really? you're what, 40? I said 55, I think that's gonna do well. 55. A whole 55. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Follow me on Instagram at Getting Healthy with Dr. T.